Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to make a Christmas related scratch game in under 10 minutes. Okay, everybody, so let's open up Scratch. Let's start a new project. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, modify the cat to turn it into a reindeer. So I've selected the free tool, uh, free draw tool. Let's make some antlers. Okay, and another one. They're pretty cool. Let's make them brown. Let's move them so they're there. Actually, let's move him in front. The antlers are normally behind the ears. Pretty cool. Now we want to create, of course, a red nose. And there is our Rudolph in Scratch. Fantastic. Right. So let's move them over to here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Great. Now what we want to do is create our joypad so that we can move them around. So again, we're going to go to our create, create um, character tool and we're going to create a, a box. And then let's make that one red. Let's do it again. Select the one we previously made and let's change the color. This one's going to be blue. We need four in total. Again, select the one we previously have made and let's adapt it. This one's going to be green. And the last one is going to be purple. Okay, so there is our joypad to move Rudolph up, down, left and right. Now let's code them. So go to our start on touch. So when the purple button is touched, I want it to send a purple message. Let's copy that across. When the green is touched, I want it to send a green message. When the blue square is touched, I want it to send a blue message. And finally, when the red button is pressed, I want it to send a red message. Now let's code Rudolph to react to that. So I like to set it up like this. So it looks like the joypad so I don't get mixed up. I don't know where I'm coding, in what direction. So when the red button is pressed, we want Rudolph to move left. When the blue button is pressed and the blue message is sent, we want Rudolph to move right. Green, we want him to move up. And purple, we want him to move down. So let's have a quick test. Green goes up, blue goes right, purple goes down, red goes left. Okay, so let's reset everything. There we go. Now what we want to do is collect, um, sorry, create the presents that Rudolph's going to collect. So again, we're going to go to our create character tool. Um, we are going to create a box. And then we're going to create uh, some ribbon that's about the same size. Fantastic. Now this present is going to be, let's have this one as orange. The ribbon is going to be blue. Now let's, oh. now let's move that to construct it. There we go, it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, and then I select a slightly thicker um, brush and do the bow on top. There we go, there's our first present. Let's put that up there. Um, we're gonna create more and I'm gonna adapt them slightly. So this one, I'm gonna change the yellow to red. Oh. Create another one. And again, obviously, when you're making your own game, you can create as many as you like. Let's now collect, change the blue to red. Uh, sorry, blue to green. Let's now create another one. So let's change that to a purple. Right. And I'm going to do... One more. Let's change the uh, green to the yellow. Great, and like I said, you can create as many as you wish. Okay, there we go. Uh, now we need to code these um, presents. Very simply, when they are touched, we just want them to disappear. 
The final thing we're going to do is we're going to create our timer. So I'm going to create a, let's create a black timer. So black circle. It's going to go up there. Now create a um, now create a, a arrow. Black and white looks good together, so let's do it white. Let's make it significantly smaller. Great, that goes in the middle. Now let's create a second page. We delete our that cat and let's add our reindeer that we've made. Let's make it quite a lot bigger. Let's put a Merry Christmas at the top. nice and big there we go again you can adapt that as you as you want let's go back to here now we want to code let me just move that oh, it's quite in the middle now we want to code our arrow <clears throat> this is the key piece of coding so when the green flag starts and what we're going to do is we want the um arrow to rotate it's going to make one revolution it's going to then wait for three tenths of a second and we want that to continue 12 times because how long it takes to rotate it. And then at the end of that, we want to change to our Merry Christmas screen. Okay, so I think we are nearly there. So let's go full screen, green to start, and off we go. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I can see that I have not changed the code for all of the... Um, Presence, I haven't coded the presence, so let's quickly do that. Okay, copy that to there. So copy that across. Copy that across. That one's got it. Great. Let's try again. Reset. Full screen. Green flag to start, and off we go. Let's collect the presence. Fantastic. There we go, Merry Christmas. Well done, everyone. Great job. Congratulations and well done on making your game. If you do need any help or have any questions, please leave a comment below. The next video should appear somewhere on the screen shortly. And if you want to keep up with all the games we're producing throughout December, please subscribe here.